largest city in the country. And she's quite a lady. Kind of peaceful, too, in the warm, friendly light of day. But when the light goes down and the city is dark, its back streets and brooding alleys become a jungle. And its denizens stretch out their claws of violence from the shadows. That's where I come in. Sims, homicide. Because murder is my business, and midnight is my beat. And it takes me to the real story behind a thousand front page headlines. Sometimes with the savage fury of a report that begins when a man's life is ended. And so the word goes out along the city's vast network of communication. Killers loose, ready to kill again, dragging innocent lives with them in a reckless pattern of flight as they try to hide in a city stripped naked where there is no escape. But the wheels of the law's machinery grind hard and the long arms of the department stretch out, girdling the city, drawing the steel net tighter and tighter. Where's the money, Lacey? I don't know. Come on, what do you do with it? I told you I didn't touch his money. How do you know Morgan had any money on him? You stay on your side of the fence. I'm looking for a cop killer. I can't figure it. What do you see in a guy like me? I see a guy who's swell, who's kind and strong. That's what I see. You're stubborn, but you're not afraid. You're an ex-con with a new beef around your neck, and I can hang you with it. Hang me, then. One job like that, and I'm your pet rat for the rest of my life. Or do you tell us to turn over their cash to us, or I'll blast a hole in you? Just as you say. Come on, on your feet. Why are you soft-headed, sloppy? <laughs> 